Intersect is a peer mentoring exchange. It's four people from Australia, four people from the UK who are um, either First Nations or um, from culturally diverse backgrounds um, working in the arts. The Intersect program is about cultural exchange. It's about knowledge exchange. Ideas about leadership and how to um, effect change in the arts. I wanted to develop an international network. I wanted to do it because I've never done any international work. I guess I didn't even realise that I was maybe slightly stuck. I needed a bit of space from my everyday practice to think about what I'm doing. Being in the company of so many amazing and talented women, it's been really interesting to see how their issues and concerns around diversity in their industries are exactly the same as what I've experienced here in Australia in the screen industry. It hasn't affected me in terms of what I think I can do, but it, it's made it a little bit more difficult for me to do it. I didn't know anybody in the arts growing up. A culturally and linguistically diverse background has actually given me a little bit of fire. Being constantly in situations where I'm one of only f a few in a room and either very visible or completely ignored because of it. My Indigenous cultural background has provided a cultural framework for me um, in terms of how I operate, um, how I build my projects, how I teach. For me, it's inextricably linked to um, what, what excites me, what I do, who I look out for and uh, the way I do things. When you're from a diverse background, the assumption is that you're going to tell stories about being from that diverse background. So I've had to really question the types of stories that I tell and the types of stories that I aspire to tell. While the programming of um, galleries, major art institutions um, supports diversity in terms of the artworks and the artists that they um, program, uh, unfortunately, behind the scenes, it's very different. Um, that's, that type of diversity is not seen in staff rooms, in meeting rooms and in the boardroom. In the art sector, we talk a lot about equality and fairness. We talk about trying to work towards a better society. But when we look at the power structures that exist in our um, industries, they replicate what happens in general society. I would really love to see the screen industry embrace diverse stories in a more uh, nuanced and fresh way. So rather than just broad brushstrokes of going this bucket or this bucket, going there are so many different types of complex characters in the world. I really want um, Australians in particular to become more aware of colonisation and to really work together to try and dismantle it. There are very few women, there are very few disabled people present and visible and in powerful positions. There are very few ethnic minority people in positions of power and I'd like to see that shift. There need to be institutions and they have a very strong and important purpose but also that aspect of artists and freelancers and people who perhaps don't um, inhabit those roles or don't have access to those roles also being able to be the best they possibly can be and being able to access equality and parity. We have huge challenges that we face in this country um, in terms of our climate, in terms of social injustice, um, in terms of disparities in access and, and wealth. Ultimately it's about truly reflecting the diversity within our communities. If you would like to see change I think it's about um, finding how you work, doing some self-reflection to go, this is where I thrive, this is where I'm most effective and putting your energies there. Be prepared for the long haul, not being serious all the time and having uh, a, a sense of kind of fun and camaraderie. Learn your history, take the lessons from it and then carry on building. You're going to have to be really persistent. Is this something that's compulsive for you? Can you really not imagine doing another thing at all. It's not entirely okay to be tired and to want a break. One of my sayings is work hard, play hard, rest hard. If you find that your story is not being reflected somewhere, go find somewhere where you can make it happen and make it happen and bring as many people along as you can 
so that this builds momentum. It's about being able to find some stillness and listen to the voice inside of you rather than the pulls that you're going to experience from the outside. Solidarity is really fundamental. There are more of us than we know and solidarity and support um, can be found in the most unlikely quarters. My advice is to become more connected, like connect outside of your, you know, your community, connect outside of the spaces that you normally operate in and, and share knowledge and get to know one another and find those things that bring us together because we need to be together um, in order to, to meet the challenges we face.